So this was 3.3. Now comes 3.4. It's review of quadratic forms. But you know what it means for a symmetric N by N matrix to be positive, definite, negative, definite. So, well, that's the quadratic form. <laughs> it's the negative definiteness, positive definiteness, and so on of a quadratic form. Okay, but you find. Now let A be an N by N matrix. With now we'll denote matrices like this so that A I J it refers to the i through j column entry as usual. A is said to be symmetric if for all i j in one to n a i j is equal to AJI. <coughs> the quadratic form on Rn a function Q Rn to R is said to be a quadratic form on Rn if there is some symmetric n by n matrix A such that For all x in Rn, q of x is equal to, now we'll represent here n vectors as row matrices as well. x, A, x transpose, where x is considered as a 1 by n row matrix. In which case, we also write Q sub A for Q. Now, in order to translate, in order to convert the notion of a quadratic form 
entirely to terms of symmetric square matrices, we need the following. Here, this requires the existence of some symmetric matrix with this. Given a quadratic form, will this matrix be uniquely determined? That's the question. It will be uniquely determined. So to talk of a quadratic form or of an n by n symmetric matrix, well, they will turn out to be the same thing. So the positive, negative, definiteness, semi-definiteness of a quadratic form will actually be the positive, negative, definite or semi-definiteness of an n by n symmetric matrix. Okay, so if you know these notions as notions referring to n by n symmetric matrices, well, you will know what it means in terms of quadratic forms as well. So let's first do that. Let A B B N by N symmetric matrices if A is different than B then Q sub A is different than Q sub B. Or if you use the contrapositive of this, QA equal to QB implies A equal to B. In fact, that's what we will prove. Proof. Assume that QA is equal to QB. Well, that is, these two functions are equal to each other. Thus, Q sub A of X is equal to Q sub B of X for each X. That is, for all X, in our N, X A, X transpose, that will be equal to XBX transpose. Okay? Now we will show that this implies A is equal to B. Well, then it is useful to choose particular special values of X. Now, of course, one special value that will be provided by the standard basis vectors of Rn. Now, for each i in the set from 1 to n, e sub i a, e sub i transpose. What's that? You take here the raw matrix whose ith entry is 1, the rest is 0. Well, if you multiply this with this, you get a raw matrix again, but this time you will have just the sum of the, uh, well, let me write this here, 1, 0 as a whole. <coughs> So you'll get just the i throw of this if you multiply it with a. This multiplied with this, it'll yield this, the i throw. It'll, so you'll get the i throw. That will be multiplied e i transpose. You will get just a i i. But this will be equal to e sub i b is a by transpose, and that will be BII. So for all I in N, the diagonals are the same. But now, <laughs> uh, 
Tank en iyi af diagonal. Element. Now take I, J in 1 to N with I different than J. Now let us set or denote E I J for the vector in R M whose i and j components are one and the rest is zero. Whose i and j components are one. And the rest zero. Now by this, well, now let me take x equal to eij. Now eij a eij transpose. <laughs> now if I perform this multiplication, I get the raw matrix. But each entry in that raw matrix, well, if you consider the kth entry, the kth column, that will be the sum of AIK plus AJK. Here, this is the i row, this is the j row, and here you have this one in the i and one in the j. -th. So if you multiply this, well then you will take the sum of these, then the sum of these, and so on. Okay, so well let me write it. So this will be, this product will be a i1 plus a j1, then a i2 plus a j2, up to a i n plus a j n, and this will be multiplied by this matrix, one, zero, this is i, this is j throw, or the other way around. But this then will be, I will just have here uh, the i column and the j column. The i column will be a i i plus a j i, and the j column will be a j i plus a j j. But by symmetry, this will be a i i plus two. I'm sorry, this is i j. But by symmetry, these will be equal to each other, 2aij plus ajj. But this is, this is equal to eijb, eij transpose, but that will be bii plus 2bij plus b j, j. But this is equal to a, j, j. This is equal to a, i, i. So these will cancel and we'll get a, i, j equal to b, i, j. Thus, a is equal to b. Because for any, we'll have, we have first shown that their diagonals coincide, and then 
the ithro jth column entry in cap A is the ithro jth column entry in cap B for all ij. So that shows that the two matrices are the same. So dealing with quadratic forms on Rn and dealing with n by n symmetric matrices, that's the same thing. Okay, but we'll continue with this next time on Thursday. And by Thursday, you will also get your last exercise set.